I'm Ben Seymour, and I'm a luthier living in Green Creek, North Carolina. I've been building musical stringed musical instruments since 1992. I've sent instruments all over the world, uh, including Hong Kong and Sweden and England, Ireland, Canada, all over the, the United States as well. Uh, my main instrument was of the fretted zither family, so I build what's known as mountain dulcimers and their antecedents, so where the mountain dulcimer came from, and those were mostly found in, in Western Europe is where those, those originated. But uh, anyhow, so uh, people ask, what is a luthier? Well, a luthier is someone that does repairs and builds stringed musical instruments. The word itself comes from the old uh, Latin, I believe it was, the lute. Somebody that built lutes, and they were a luthier. So, uh, or I tell people jokingly, it's like, I'm just a reformed Episcopalian. So, <laughs> okay, so uh, anyhow, uh, so that's what I do here, and I, I start from scratch. I don't build things out of like plywood or pre-cut pieces. I got started building stringed instruments when my wife had inquired about a plucked saw tree. And I'd never built one before, but I ordered a kit. And the plucked saw tree kit that I ordered, well, when I got it and put it together, it worked, but it was made out of the finest plywood door skins that could be purchased. So when I saw that, I thought, you know, I think I could build something better than this. I'd had some experience with woodworking as a toy maker and various other wood shops I'd worked in. And so I started building one and I built her a saw tree and it was very, very nice sounding. And after that, I had been uh, taught to play dulcimer and I thought, I wonder if I could build one of these. So I started building dulcimers. And uh, the first ones were pretty rough. They sounded good, but they were pretty rough. And, uh, you know, after I built, oh, I suppose 20 or 30 of them, I got pretty good at it. But it took some time, and uh, I honed my skills, and then I branched out into building, as I mentioned earlier, about building the dulcimer antecedents, which is where they came from. Things like the Epinet de Vosges, and the Scheitholt, and the Langelec, and the Langspiel, and the Hexenscheit, and things like that from Western Europe. But uh, anyhow, and I'm one of the few people that builds those. So if you're into early music, I'm the guy to talk to. But uh, anyhow, so uh, I did those and, uh, you know, gained somewhat of a reputation. Now, I build custom instruments. That's what I do. So I don't have a shop that has instruments hanging around for sale. I occasionally have one or two. But uh, in the most part, I have someone comes to me or they contact me through my, my website, which is kudzupatch.net, and uh, you can see instruments there and stuff. But they'll contact me and they'll say, I want a mountain dulcimer or I want a guitar or something like that. And then I'll start talking to them about what kind of woods they want. Because I start off with a piece of lumber, and then I cut it down and what's known as resaw, and I end up with a piece of wood that's about the right thickness and then I take it through the thicknessing sander until I get it exactly where I want it and have the exact tolerances that, I, that I'd like on a, on a particular piece of wood. But I use a lot of domestic hardwoods, also some exotics, uh, you know, things like bubinga and ribbon-striped African mahogany and things that are even harder than that to say, like chantikiro. So, but uh, anyhow, uh, I, I use all sorts of different woods and find out what the person, the sound the person is looking for and uh, the type of instrument they're looking for. I also do inlay work. So if they want something custom like their, their name or an initial or something like that inlaid into the piece of, uh, into the instrument, into the headstock or something like that, I can do that as well. Uh, besides building custom instruments, one of the things I do is repair stringed instruments. Now I don't build violins. Violins are a totally different set of skills than building most flat instruments and stuff like that. Uh, so uh, I've taken some violin classes and things like that, know how to find my way around them, but I do repairs on violins. And if it's got strings on it, I can fix it. Uh, sometimes there's the question of, I let people know if it's worth fixing. Sometimes you have a $200 instrument and the repair on it's going to be $400, so it's like, do you really want to spend that kind of money? But I let everybody know from the get-go, uh, you know, what, what they might, might be involved in repairing an instrument, 
And I'm one of the rare people, I don't charge to look at an instrument and tell you, it's like, this is what needs to be done. So I'm not one of those, that it's like, it'll be $100 for me to look at it, and then it's gonna cost you $400 to fix it. No, I'll, I'll tell you if it's worth fixing. And uh, you can fix anything, you really can. Uh, so you can replace backs, sides, cracks, all that kind of stuff. But once again, I will let a person know if it's gonna be worth it or not, and what they're gonna be into. Uh, a, a very close ballpark as to what it might cost them. But yeah, if it's got strings, I can fix it. Uh, besides building musical instruments, uh, my wife and I, Becky Cleland, she kept her maiden name, so I'm Ben Seymour, she's Becky Cleland, but we perform together as Ginger Thistle. Uh, and we've played all over the East Coast, and we even busked and played in Ireland when we went over there one time. But uh, most of our musical taste and what we play is old-time music and Celtic. And uh, then we branch out, and, and I've written some original things and stuff like that, so we do a little bluesy things, too, from time to time. But uh, we've been playing together ever since we got married, and uh, we've been married now for 43 years. So, uh, uh, so uh, she has, as, as I call her, she's the queen of harmony. She can find a harmony note to anything, and it's always something really precise and really yummy as far as the harmony goes. It's not your basic harmony. She always finds great harmonies. Uh, I play, personally, uh, I play various stringed instruments mostly. I play guitar, I play mandolin, I play uh, ukulele, uh, and that's how you say it, is ukulele. Uh, and I also play, uh, uh, let's see, I said mandolin, banjo, guitar, all sorts of stringed instruments like that, and play a little bit of penny whistle and stuff. And my wife, she plays the dulcimer and has also played guitar in the past, but uh, also plays what's known as the bones. And those are actually two little bones that are curved, and she does the percussion for that. And I play a few percussion instruments, but not generally as, as in the setting of a band. And it's just us. We, we're a duo, and this is what we've done, and we were known as Ginger Thistle. And as I said, we've played all over various places, a lot of universities up and down the East Coast. We've played in Vermont and Maine and uh, even in, in Ireland one time, so that was fun. I'm Ben Seymour, and I'm a luthier, and I appreciate you spending some time and coming to visit me in my shop. This is one of the instruments I built. This, of course, is the mountain dulcimer, uh, and this is my old war horse, as I call it. I play this one a lot, so I'll give you a little tune here. This is a, a tune called whiskey before breakfast. Thanks a lot. I'm Mark. This is The Country Life with Columbus Mark. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe, share, like, comment, and come back often. Welcome to my neighborhood, wherever that might be.